the, the uh, milkmaid braids or um, some people might call it the halo hair and it was seen wearing by Mary Kate Olsen. All you're going to need is a comb, some Kirby grips and some of these small elastic um, hair bands and these elastic hair bands are really good because they're made especially for the hair and it's not going to um, snag or break the hair but it's going to give it a really nice tight secure finish ok so you want to start with your natural hair um, if you have hair like mine then it's perfectly fine if you have curly hair then you might want to straighten it a little bit and vice versa if you have really perky straight hair you might want to put a little bit of salt spray in and give it some texture I'm gonna Part my hair down the back through the middle, like so, and then I'm going to leave these two front bits out because Mary Kate Olsen has um, these front fringe pieces um, hanging free quite freely. And then for the rest of her, I'm just going to do a, a braid. So all I'm going to do is split the hair into three sections. So that's one, that's two and then that's three. And then starting from around the ear, I'm going to start braiding that down. So you want to braid it all the way down. You want to try and braid it as as much as you can because you don't really want any um, free hair showing. So I can get it down to about there where I need to stop braiding and I'm going to put one of these hair ties in. Like so. So as you can see I only have a tiny amount um, which was pretty much impossible to carry on braiding. And then what I'm going to do is just loosen it up and if you have um, small pieces of hair like this um, sticking out then that's perfectly fine that may be even better because it's going to give it a really textured nice um, boho feel to it and now we're just going to do the same on the other side see the hairband. If you have a hairband that matches your hair colour then you can probably just leave it in. And then I'm going to start pinning this hair. Like so. And then we're going to bring this side over to this side. And then again I'm going to remove the hair tie and then pin this section down. So once the hairs are pinned into place it should look a some, little something like this. And I'm just going to ruffle the top parts of the hair. Just to give, make it have that more lift in, not so perfect look that Mary Kate Olsen has. These um, front bits, you can just leave them down if you want, that's how Mary Kate Olsen has them. You can, you can put a little bit of sea salt in and scrunch it up and make it a bit more messy and wavy and um, that's how she has it. Or you can just simply twist it and pin it behind the ears. And then just let it loose a bit. So you've got this um, nice, um, just something to frame your face so it's not like everything's out of your face if that's what you prefer. So here's the side. This side is like fringe pinned back. 
and then this side is fringe down so it's really up to you how you even if you want a fringe on that you can just go ahead and plait it all and braid all your hair into the braid so yeah I think I prefer it all back so I'm just going to pin this one back as well And yeah, so that's basically how you achieve the um, Mary Kay Olsen. And also Sienna Miller has this hairstyle quite often as well on the red carpet. It's just a really pretty simple halo hair do. And I'm just going to show you the back. So that's what it looks like at the back. Um, yeah, so this is just the hairstyle that I created today. So thank you for watching guys. Until my next video, I'll see you soon. Bye!